And now we're gonna move on to Mrs. Jessica Klein uh, Weisenberg. And Jessica loves to inspire others with her spiritual work. Her mission is to spread the infinite light of Hashem of Torah and mitzvot with the world. She has witnessed how powerful it is to say to Hillam every single day and has seen incredible miracles in her own life and in the lives of others. You can follow her on Instagram at Jessica Spiritual Spark. Um, and Jessica, after, um, after your talk, there is going to be the six minute to Hill and Reed. So we hope you'll stick around um, for that as well. Ladies, without any further ado, Mrs. Jessica Klein. Weisenberg. <laughs> <laughs> it can be Jessica Klein. I, I think they, they my maiden name is Weisenberg. Um, there you go. But um, yes, hi, how are you? It's an honor to be here, really. Um, it's um, it's incredible because we're we're approaching those that high moment of uh, Shavuot, and we're only you know two weeks away from that. And it's really it's an honor to give you guys some spiritual boost. Um, to get us to the finish line <laughs> after the, the counting of the Omer. Um, so the Tehillim that I, that I chose was, seven, was 72. Um, it's a very powerful Tehillim. I mean, I do say it every single day. And I say it in particular for Refuah Shalema, for Kolam Israel. So that's really, it's, um, it's, it, it can be... It, it, it really was given to me um, because I'm in a group of, of uh, with incredible women that we do the healing every single day for for Refua Shalema, and you know I was granted to to do this the healing 71, 72, and 73, and the more I said it, the more I connected uh, to this the healing, and I'm gonna explain you why, but. Um, but it's the title of the Tehillim. Um, I don't know if everybody hears me. I hope everybody hears me good. Yes? Yeah? Yes, you sound great. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. Yeah. So it's 72. Yes. Yeah. So sorry, I have an accent. I'm originally from Colombia. I moved to Miami many years ago. So I still have my strong Latin accent. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. So um, if you don't understand something, you can always uh, chat and I, and I can explain it better. Um, so basically, um, I have, I carry my Tehillim every day, everywhere I go, I have my Tehillim always by my side, um, in my purse. And that's why I have this type of, um, Tehillim, like this size, um, because I do feel that a Jewish woman have to have the Tehillim with her every single second. So I, this is something I recommend all of you to do. <laughs> Um, and basically, the Tehillim 72, you know, the title is really about um, being thankful, grateful, to be thankful to Hashem, being grateful. And, and, you know, I wanted to really learn more since I chose this. I'm like, okay, let me learn more about this Tehillim because, you know, it's, there's a reason why I do it every day. Um, and it's not coincidence. Um, and something that I'm, and most people know me that I'm very passionate about the times of Mashiach, about Mashiach, about, you know, I say Mashiach, we want it now every single day. Um, it actually, I, I used to say we want it, now we need it. You know, it comes to the point that now it's a need, it's not a want. Um, and, and it's incredible how, when, I, when I'm learning more about the Tehillim 72, um, I noticed that it's really, it's all about the times of Mashiach. Like literally the, the, the whole Tehillim, it's all about um, the times of when we will be, um, we'll have that redemption moment. And, and um, if, if it's okay with you guys, I don't know if it's okay, but I wanted to say a few of the lines of the, of the Tehillim. So you guys understand a little bit of what I'm, 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 I'm trying to transmit to you. Um, and um, I don't know if it's okay. If it's okay, I'll, yes, I'll go ahead please. and just say Go okay, for it. Okay, right. okay, amazing. So basically it's, oh, and also an amazing fact, this Tehillim 72 is the last Tehillim that, the, that King David um, composed before his passing. So imagine how powerful this Tehillim is. I mean, 
we will think like the last the healing will be, uh, you know, 150, the last the healing of the book, but really it's not. The, the whole book of the healing was, um, was organized in a particular way. Uh, it could have been between the, you know, the stages along the way, but really the last the healing that King David said and uh, composed was 72. And then later on, we would see that there's a few other healings um, that are from come from King from King David, but it was it was placed there for a particular reason. But it really doesn't. Uh, we have to understand that the healings are not organized the way it was. Um, if they were composed or they were, you know, it's not that way. There's a reason why it's it's the way it is right now. But we have to understand that. 72 is the last healing that he wrote and 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 we're gonna we're gonna see you know how powerful this healing is and it really is addressing um his to his son uh, Shlomo Amele that he will now take over the the rulership and he will continue what King David started okay with his with a, his um with his rulership okay so I'm just gonna say a few a few lines here. Okay, so, uh, so concerning Shlomo, oh God, give your judgment to a king and your righteousness to a king's son. So this is referring to, you know, to him, to King David, and passing it, pass it over to, um, to his son, Shlomo. Okay, may he judge your people justly, and your poor will be, will with justice may the mountains bear peace for the people and the hills throughout righteousness may he judge the poor of the people may he save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor so now we're entering like what i just said it's really is all about really asking hashem that when king when king solomon uh, starts his his um his new position as, as the king, he's really asking Hashem for all of this blessing that it will be, you know, a good time for the Jewish people uh, and may, you know, may the children of Israel be saved and the needy and the, and the, the pressure will be crushed. So we're, we're going to see that the whole Tehillim is really asking Hashem for these incredible blessings that at the end of the day, it really is when the times of Mashiach will, the, the, when it happens, when it will happen. Okay, so um, may they fear you in the presence of the sun and before the moon for generation upon generation. May the sand as rain upon cut veg vegetation and raindrops that drip upon the earth. Um, may the righteous flourish in his day. And the and march peace until there is no moon. It's it's such a beautiful like if you I'm not I'm, I don't want to go into all the the lines I don't know if we if if this is for that but I really want you to just get a little bit of of the wording of of King David. Um, may he will have pity on the poor and the needy, and he will save the souls of the needy. From blows and from robbery, he will redeem their soul and their blood will be there in his eyes. And may he live and he will give him of the gold of Sheba. And may he pray for his constantly and all the days, may he bless him. So uh, the last one I'm just gonna say, may there be abundance of rain in the land on the mountain peaks made fruit rustle like Lebanon and they will blossom forth from the city like the grass of the earth. Um, so, so basically, um, it's really the whole Tehillim, it's about, first of all, blessing his son for, for his new position, that it will go as smooth as possible with all the blessings, with that all the needy, does, may, he, may they have flourish abundance, okay? so. Really, um, what am I saying? Why am, why am I comparing this to the times of Mashiach? Because I think most of us know that when Mashiach will come, when the, when the time of the redemption will come, all of this will actually happen. You know, there will be no more poor people. You know, the poor people will have abundance. There will be all types, all the sickness will disappear. 
you know? So a lot of what this Tehillim is talking about, it's really referring, yes, when the, when, when the times of Shlomo, he's blessing him, but really in reality, the King, King David is telling us that we have to hope for that moment to come already, for the times of Mashiach to actually come already in our days. And, you know, I, it's, it's important to connect this to, to, because I wanted to connect this to being thankful and to being, and to have, a, you know, to being grateful to Hashem for all the blessings that we have in our lives. But most, a lot of times we are, we don't see those, those blessings. And we, maybe we sometimes are struggling in different, in different parts of our lives. You know, it can be with economic situation, with your economic situation, with Shalom Bay, with children, with mental illness. You know, there, there could be a lot of struggles in people's lives. But I want you to just think for a moment, and this is something that I want you guys to do while, while I'm saying this right now. Just think for a moment when you felt that, that a, a little bit of light came into your life, like that you didn't feel no restrictions you didn't feel you felt abundance you felt that you felt good you felt with with you know with mentally positive and um like i want all, all of you to just take up one second to just bring a thought that thought into your mind a thought that or a memory that you felt this what i'm talking about i don't know i i, I don't want to like oh raise your hand if you <laughs> if you already have that memory but really go back to a memory that you felt that oh my god okay thank you hashem for this like i feel good i'm happy i'm in a good place um i'm gonna give you one second okay i think i think all of us can think of that moment that we felt that and why am I saying, and why do I want you guys to really, you know, remember that memory? Because at that moment, you had a glimpse of Mashiach, of the times of Mashiach. At that moment, that feeling, whatever feeling that you're feeling at, and, and you, that you brought back, okay? Imagine that feeling of plentifulness, of shalom, of just being happy of just having a healthy relationship with somebody. So I don't know if, if I'm cutting. Am I a little bit cutting? You're okay. Yes. Okay. The, the video is like delaying a little bit, but we can hear you fine. Ah, okay. Okay. Perfect. Um. So so going back to that memory, okay, of holding that memory of feeling good, you know, just a, a little bit of light that we felt you know, at that moment. So what do we, what can we say at that moment? What do we, what do we say at that moment? We say, oh my God, thank you. Thank you for this moment. Like we, we really are super thankful. <laughs> like, oh my God, thank you Hashem that I was able to just feel, okay, a little bit of shalom in my life, you know, and um, or some redemption in my life. And if at that moment, imagine that you say to Hashem, Thank you, Hashem, for this. And please, Mashiach, now. What are you saying to Hashem? First of all, you're saying to Hashem, you're very thankful about what, what just happened to your life. But also, you're going one step forward. And this is what the King David is teaching us in this, in this Tahirim. Yes, at this moment, King David is seeing the light. He is dealing with a lot of things in his life right now. I mean, everybody's trying to kill him, basically. Okay, this in this point of his life, at the end of his life, he's he's feeling like okay, there's no tomorrow, and that's and he's not feeling well also. So, so basically, he was able to first say, "Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem, that there's a new beginning. That my my son is now taking over me, and he's gonna be." amazing king that I know that he will be, that, that he will be, and I'm blessing him that he will have all the blessings and that the people that he will reign, that he will reign will be with plentifulness. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied only to say this. I'm satisfied also to teach 
the people that are gonna are gonna are gonna say it's a healing to so yes say thank you of this incredible moment that you're feeling of oh my god there's some redemption in my life right now but that's not the ultimate re the redemption we cannot be stuck in this redemption we have to look forward we have to look beyond this and what he, what is he saying in this healing at the end of the day hashem please bring this time now as well like bring this bring that the times of mashiach now as well i'm not i'm i i want to be thankful i want to i'm saying thank you and i'm i'm blessing for all this feeling incredible that i feel right now that there's there's a better future for my children that there will be a better a future for my children because that's what we do every single day as mothers we pray what do we say please hashem thank you for my for my for my children and i want them to please have all the blessings but the ultimate blessing that we're and and the ultimate prayer that we're really trying to to say to Hashem is that yeah I want to be thankful to you because you will bring the times of Mashiach because we want Mashiach we need Mashiach I'm not satisfied only with this I am thankful I'm very thankful <laughs> and then we only see that light in our in our lives. But in reality, we have to also remember, even in that pure light that we feel at that moment, that the ultimate light is when the time is the time for Mashiach. When Mashiach will come and that we will see Hashem, Hashem presence in everything, in all, our, in all, all of our lives, and that we will be able to serve Him, and that yes, at that moment, there won't be any more sadness. There won't be any more um, uh, poverty. It will be only really goodness. And we we'll actually really feel the ultimate thank, uh, thanks in, the, in those moments. And I, I, I know we don't have so much time. Uh, Dolly, can you tell me how, how many? Uh, how much? Yes, you have about three minutes. Okay, perfect. So I just want to go back to just to bring it down to to practicality <laughs> and just give you a, give like a, a mini story, um, a personal story, just to you know what does it mean to say this the healing uh, to say the healing in our lives. And there was a moment in my life that we were actually in the limbo of like we we didn't have a house yet, so we we're actually going around people my my, my sister's house and my mother's house. And until we finally, Baruch Hashem, the first day of, 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 um, of Passover, we were able to, to be in our home. So redemption, complete redemption there, you know? We felt the redemption. And, um, but what happened in like, there was like around six months, I'm telling you, six months of this limbo of, you know. And, a rabbi told me, you know why? Why don't you do hitas, which is in in Chabad, it's it's a customary to do hitas, which is um, which is tehillim, the 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 day of the we say the the tehillim of the day, okay, which is uh, the 150 are divided between the days of the month, and aside from that, learn the the parsha of the day, and the tanya of the day, and yes, at that moment. I, I'm like, I can give all to Hashem. Like I'm here for like Hashem, like save me from this, you know, I'm all in. So I actually started doing that. And Baruch Hashem has been um, eight years that I've been doing Kitas, Baruch Hashem, from that experience. But um, why do I, why, why am, I'm not, I'm not here to like show, so ooh, is that, you know, at the beginning it wasn't easy. It took a lot of discipline to be able to do that. But I was in that state of desperation of like, Hashem, I need to see your light. I need to see your light. Even in this darkest moment in my life, I need to see a glimpse of your light. And if it's this way, then I'm all for it. And really, I, I actually saw, I felt that Hashem was with me the whole time and was actually holding my hand all of this time. Why? Because I actually, I reach out to him with my hand, with my Tehillim book, 
every single day, every second that I had, I was reading my thing, I was reading the healing. And I was connecting with this incredible power that, that King David gave to us to connect with Hashem in the most deepest and intimate way. And in return, I felt Hashem, uh, Hashem with me. I felt that he was holding me and carrying me through the whole time. And why, why, why do I say this? Because at the moment that, that you're, that somebody's struggling or that something's happening or even like a fight of, you know, you know, my, uh, the husband and the wife, you know, we have those days, you know, grab your healing, say this, they say a few to healing. And I can guarantee you because I, I lived it, you internally will feel shalom. You internally will feel the times of Mashiach internally. Even if the external situation, it's not the ideal situation. Internally, you're actually drinking or bringing inside of yourself the times of Mashiach, that redemption moment, that shalom. And nothing else can give you that. And, and King David gave us this, this incredible book to give us those, to give us that moment. So my blessing to all of you is that you, in, every, in whatever situation that you're in, first say thank you to Hashem because Hashem is the one that gives us everything. Connect with Hashem, have your Tehillim next to you and ask every single day for the times of Mashiach because actually right now we, we need it. Um, and I really wish you all the blessings and an amazing um, Shavuot Sameach. And may we again be with Hashem celebrating with the Bekta Mikdash feeling in, in our days. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> what a way, what a way to finish off today's series. That was, that was powerful. And let us all just take the inspiration, I think, Jessica, from your story. Like, let's just you you know we've all heard this incredible journey and transformation that you've been through and i think we can all take from it in our own ways and just use it even as inspiration in our own lives to help us um internalize and work more and give more to hashem and extend that hand just the way that you did you know and for some people it's doing what you did and for other people it might be one to him a day but whatever it is you know, for you on your level where you're at, I think that's such a powerful message. And I really feel it. I thank you. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs>